Hey everybody, you just catch me after my morning commute. I'm Oliver Gauci, the service product manager of Fuji. I really love my cycling, but unfortunately I have to use very dirty tracks to come here and this sometimes gives me troubles with my shifting. I'm happy to know the checks I can do myself to the bike to get it running again. And the same applies to laboratory equipment. Let me change my clothes and then I'm going to show you the tricks and tricks you can do to your pure ELST. Let us meet over at the assembly. Welcome in the assembly line of Fuji. We're here right in front of a brand new pure system. If you encounter unexpected results or even a failure with your device, it might be related with the application or with the system itself. A good example is the ELSD which is built into the pure. Let's say you have a noisy signal. This is really an issue for you because it makes it really hard to collect the target compounds. There are three simple checks you can do yourself that might resolve the problem. First, check the exhaust tube on the back of the instrument. It can happen that the exhaust gets disconnected by accident, so press it on tightly and make sure it's fully connected. The second check you can do is the nebulizer and the transfer line. If they get blocked, the evaporation will be incomplete and the droplets will cause a noise on your ELSD signal. So I'm going to show you how easy you can disassemble them to clean them. Here is the transfer line and here is the nebulizer. You can rinse both with ethanol or isopropanol. You may use pressurized air to purge them. Please wear your safety glasses while doing so. If you can't clean the transfer line, just replace it with a spare one. So make sure you always have one in stock. The first check you can do is the carrier gas of your pure system. The carrier gas is used to push the solvent and sample mixture through the nebulizer. If there are impurities in that carrier gas, like oil or moisture, they will show on the ELSD signal as noise. So make sure to check the specifications and the quality of your gas source. If you want to be on the safe side, just go with one of our pure dryer supplies. It will deliver just the right quality to use with our pure. Now, let's wrap up. The first check you can do is the exhaust tube. The check two is the transfer line and the nebulizer. And the check three is the carrier gas. And now, let's go to our application specialist up in the lab and talk with him about problems that could be caused by the application. Hey, Valentin. Hi. I'm sure you already had issues with your ELSD signal. Sometimes, yes. So, can you tell us what we can do from the application side to prevent these issues? If your sample is too highly volatile and then it gets evaporated with samples such as vanillin. Another problem is when you have a too noisy ELSD signal, which means you are using a non-volatile buffer such as phosphate or citrate. In this case, you should go for a formic acid or acetic acid instead. Or sometimes you are using, you are just using a mobile phase with too high boiling temperature, such as DMSO, and you would also get a noisy ELSD signal. Thank you very much for You're explaining. Welcome. So, as you have seen, issues with the ELSD signal can come from the technical or from the application side. So always make sure to check both when you're troubleshooting your ELSD. Thank you very much. We really hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time. Bye. Bye.